again, Supreme Sweet Nine Door Fix Club. Let's get into the first list before <sighs> Supreme Kama Asa Steamer, uh, 198 and usually 158. If you already have this Casa Ice Steamer, you probably don't want to pay for the Supreme one. If you never had a Casa Ice Steamer, if you wanted one, maybe this one would be on your list, but more than likely, you'll just buy a regular steamer. So I don't think it's going to have a resale. This is just basically for personal use. Uh, Hanes Thermal Crew Pack. Uh, the Camo is the first one. That's the first one. That's the main focus here. Large, small, medium, all sizes are going to have to see some money. I got to get it SL for personal. Then you can go on to the cream, then the black. I know people think like black, but no, it's the cream one that's really been doing money numbers on here. So take that ass for what you will. Polar Tech baseball jersey. This one, I said this before. I thought this kind of threw me off because it's Polar Tech. And I don't think Polar Tech, that would be like winter clothing only. But no, you can wear this in the summertime. So. I think the black one, the pink, all three colorways are good. Uh, which one's going to sell out fast? Something tells me they probably didn't make a lot of the pink, but the black, you know, black is just standard. Blue's not bad either, but I think that's the third best choice. Uh, definitely going to be trying to throw either the pink or the black one in the cart uh, just to, you know, see where they go. I think that was probably hit like 300 depending on the size. Uh, Tiger keychain, let's not even talk about that one. It's a keychain. Bones, thermals, pants, the camel one, you might be able to get something out of that one, but really, I think those are a skip because, I, th I think it's because it's underwear, it's long underwear, and people don't, just don't even care. Uh, small box, long sleeve t-shirt, uh, embroidered patch, this is embroidered, the khaki, the black, the gray, maybe in the purple, I would have to go back on stock it and see if these even have a, a market because they're going to be like 68 so that's 70 could these hit 100 120 could they it's possible i just have to do more research on that one wild embroidered hooded sweatshirt uh this is a widow day i kind of only want to vouch for the red or the blue or the gray because the photos look the best on these and granted some of these widow day hoodies go for a lot of money later on down the line so is if you can invest in one of these or it goes to a sale these could be worth it but that's the thing are these going to go to a sale or are these going to sell out uh that's a gamble you'll have to take texture not a card again this is going to be 178 again with the monotone logo for some reason these are cool these are wild uh it's just I don't think these are going to garner any money just because it's so it's a cool hoodie it's a cool hoodie but there's no branding on this on this cardigan whatsoever uh i could be wrong but i, I think these are probably 250 maybe 230 uh depending on how many they made i just it doesn't it just doesn't look that good as far as that goes uh work zip up hooded sweatshirt these are gonna be 168 is probably gonna have some nice material uh the green the black camo the maroon those are the top colorways but at 168 i mean i doubt these are gonna have any resale i mean maybe 148 158 but a zip up for 168 mm, I, I, it's kind of hard to see this one doing anything on the market uh laser denim camp cap you got the brown the pink but i would say the brown the denim the denim could do something because it's this the one with the most visible symbol uh the pink possibly skip the white hat with the red people don't like those for some reason i the black is just too plain these are 60 dollars i think i'll probably be out on those anyway new era script beanie um uh, the red, if it has a white, I think that probably have a white or a red, probably a white one, a white logo. Black, purple, those are the top three. Brown, that uh, cream brown is sort of like a wild card colorway. Then you got the navy in, on red and the green on red, yellow. Orange is at the worst bottom possible list. For 44, and them being embroidered, um, 
the right color where I can see it hitting 100 or even like 80, 100, or maybe even more, depending on the uh, depend on the colorway. So choose wisely. Like the t but you can't go wrong with the top three colorways: red, black, purple. Those you always see so see a little bit of cheese right there. Uh, quilted plaid shirt, uh, the yellow and the fake Burberry one. Those are the top ones. If I can't get a jersey, I may, I may try to go for these, uh, possibly. Especially that Burberry. I'm not sure about the yellow. Yellow's kind of whatever. The blue is the worst one. I I probably will try to go for. If I can't get jerseys, I'm going for these. So, yeah, this, this is like a backup, especially with 158. That's not bad. Supreme. North Face quilted uh, uh, downfield zip up sweatshirt. Uh, it's two sides of this. One, it's probably going to be really cozy. It's a hoodie with down material. You know it's going to be really, really, really warm, cozy, whatever. It's like a puffer jacket, but in hoodie form. On the other side, it's $300. This is $300 for a plain hoodie that just has North Face Supreme on the sleeves. Is there a chance for resale? I would say yes. There, there is a slight chance for resale uh, only because of what it is. If only it does say artwork from Raymond Pettibon, but something tells me it's just a completely blank hoodie. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would say like if you got $300 to just gamble or you just want this for a personal it's all a go, but if you're like anywhere on the fence about these, I would say skip because three you could put maybe a hundred dollars and get the nupsy, and that would have more branding. Uh, if these were, I really wish this was like a two hundred dollar. If this was two hundred dollars, this would be a complete go. Two hundred dollars for this downfield hooded sweatshirt. This will be item of the week. Hands down, no questions. But three hundred dollars kind of, kind of kills the mood. Not gonna lie to you guys. Sprite wool trousers you can get these at. Oh, these are made from Laurel Pernaro wool. That's the designer. Um, even still, I would say like you could probably find these, find similar things like this at a thrift. Wide wallet cart corduroy pants. Uh, again, you could find these or similar at a thrift at a thrift. So, yeah, classic script, short sleeve top. Uh, if these are 54, I think these are probably going to sell out. Will they have resale? Certain colorways. Certain colorways of these are going to have some resale. Um, but you can't see, like, the, the letters besides, like, on the navy. And what's the other one? The pink, pink on, that pink on blue is kind of nice. Uh, at 54, it's a gamble. These are a gamble. I will pick them over the next shirt that's coming out. These right here. I'm going to get to those. But these are nice. You just have to pick the right colorway. You could probably see a decent amount of resale for those. Polar Tech Waffle Small Box 6 Panel. Uh, these are going to be $48. And usually I would hate on the Small Box logos. But the green is looking hella nice. The black is in. The red. Red is looking really nice. And that floral hat. Uh, even though I don't like white hats with the red boss logo, that one is looking particularly nice. Uh, all four of those hats, I can see them doing a decent amount on resale, and I'll probably be picking up either these. If I'll probably pick up the green and maybe either the floor or the black, or maybe all three. Just, it just depends. Uh, so I'm gonna see on release day. Polar Tech shorts. Same thing applies with the jersey. I don't think it's going to be as popular as the jersey. You can wear these on in the summertime, and especially with the fall. Will these sell out? I, 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 I hope these go on sale. I can see these going on sale and then being a big hit in the summertime. But who knows? The black is the only one I would really vouch for. Maybe the pink in, a, in smaller sizes. Maybe. Uh, but... Yeah, these are also kind of a skip to uh, Supreme, Wayman Pettibon, North Face short sleeve top. This is the back 
whatever you're looking for, you won't find it here with the X on the back. These are going to be, from what's reported, 60 bucks. If these are 60 bucks, blank on the front, by the way. Uh, hopefully, the hoodie, the downfield hoodie, has something on the back also. Just with the X. Now, that maybe might justify it, whatever. Uh, but... If these are 60, these are a complete pass. If these are 48, maybe. If these are $48, pos these are, I would I would definitely try to put this in one of my cards. 60, no, 48, hell yes. Uh, Raymond Pettibon Supreme North Face Mountain Jacket. Uh, this is going to be like, I, I don't think that's right. I think what Mountain Jackets are usually lower than the Nupsies, or are they higher? I think they're lower, right? A a anyway, uh, I don't like this design. Like, the skull is just sort of, I don't know, it's, it's just so, it's plain. Like, you got the front plain, and then you got the, I don't know if it's patch or screen printed, but either way, it just looks, it, it looks boring, in a way. Like, yeah, it, it just looks boring. Like, I like this one. I, I can't. I can't rock with it. Tiger five panel. This is gonna be fifty four dollars from what they say. If it's forty eight, forty, maybe. Uh, which one of those? But it's between this camel colorway and this black colorway. Uh, I would go with the black one just because it has the black patch, and people usually don't like that right there. The red tags. I could be wrong, but. I think I would go with the black one. Uh, the red, black, red, that one right there is just all over the place. I would skip that one. North Face Supreme Raymond Pettibon Nupsy. This one has a cool design on the back. The only thing that really kills it is the front is, I don't know, it's like the front, front's cool. But then it's like, is that a printed on patch or is it like a uh, woven in patch? Like, I, I don't know. I'm trying to look at the words. It just looks like a bunch of nonsense. Um, I don't know, man. It, I, I know what people are going to say. People are going to say like, oh, the Nupsy just looks like uh, they, slipped, uh, they slapped a sticker on the back and they just used some old North Faces. And that's what's really going to kill it. That's why this collab is rated so high. Could this would it still sell out? I don't. I don't think these are gonna sell out. I think these are going to probably sit on the site. Like, if you just want a North Face Nupsy, this is the best chance to get one because I don't think the competition is gonna be there. I think last year we had the suede jacket. That thing flew. These right here. I think people are just gonna over completely overlook these, just because of how plain it is. And you got the weird thing on the back. I, I think that's going to happen. Uh, I'm not going to talk about these love cash sweatpants or whatever. The beanie being at the bottom is kind of surprising because I think that's the best piece out of, out of the whole artwork Raymond Pettibon. I'll, I'll probably try to put a black, red, green. Really, all the colors are nice. Maybe not the blue because blue is kind of weird, whatever. But I think these are going to surprise people. Uh... Yeah, I, I definitely want to try to put these in the cart. Uh, black Supreme uh, beanies, they always do well, even when they're voted down. So I'm definitely going to be trying to put at least two to three of these in a cart and get the hell on, get out of everybody's sight. So you guys say what you're going for. Uh, I, the Nupsy, I, I think we had more excitement for the Zip ones last time than we had for these. That's just my opinion, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe they could have did like an all over print with the wolf on the back and then you could have had the writing on the front or the wolf on the front and the back. I don't know. It's just, I guess it's just throwing people off with the big, with them just like throwing a big sticker on the back and having it plain on the front. I think that's why everybody doesn't like this North Face collab. Uh, it, it just feels... It feels just so plain, especially coming from Raymond Pettibon, who has, like, these really cool drawings and everything like that. It seems like 
he kind of phoned it in. Like that's that's really what it seems like. He this was a phoned in North Face Raymond Pettit Barn Supreme collab. Uh, Politaire jersey that's number one. And I have to fill out some stuff. Maybe like the small box hat, the beanies. Yeah, probably. That's how I probably go. I probably go thermal baseball jersey, beanies. This right here. Maybe did one of these and these right here, and I'll call it a day. If this is 48, I'll be trying to put one or two of those in the cart. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. You guys tell me what you think and what you'll be picking up for this Supreme Week 9. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.